Next, Darby O'Gill and the Little People, 1986 release. Oh my, uh, the lighting is not being the best. July 10th, 1985. Next, Pollyanna from 1986. Once again, this was one that came in a rental case, uh, but I actually found a clamshell for it at the same... Vincent de Paul in Florence, Oregon. And then you got Swiss Family Robinson from 1988. Now, not normally, but this is a reprint copy, and I don't know why it's got that line there. Anyways, yeah, I have it. No print date. You've got Swiss Family Robinson, again, from 1986, but the tape, once again, is reprinted. I don't know why, but it is. 1988 pressing. No print date. Alright. Next, you've got That Darn Cat. A classic Disney crime movie starring a fabulous feline. I really like the old Disney animal movies. I really like this one. I've watched it multiple times. Alright, tape. Got the orange of red lines and a print date from July 22nd, 1985. So, have this one for a while. And this next one's actually pretty interesting. Justin Morgan had a horse. Now, you may think, oh, this is just your generic white clamshell 80s copy in a later case. It's more than that. If you've seen my most recent VHS update, you'll get why there's more to it than that. But let me show you the side. 74V is the stock number. Look. Custom label. With a print date of June 14th, 1993. Now, normally, I will not interrupt the collection video, but I think it would be proper to show you the VHS opening. Because while it has a 1993 print date, its opening is pretty interesting. So let's pop it in the VCR. Alright, so I've got the tape loaded into the VCR, and we are going to be checking out the opening to Justin Morgan Had a Horse to prove that this is a 1980s tape master. So let's watch the following opening. And there's your proof. So let's get right back to the collection. Alright, stack number three. Next, we got The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which I picked, picked up. Sorry, I can't speak. I picked this one up at the Half Price Books in Berkeley. And it's got some red text on there for some reason. I guess they want to highlight who's in it. Anyways, tape. And the print date is from June 11th of 1986. And it's got a business supply card in here. Pretty cool that it's still in there after all these years. Next, you got The Parent Trap from 1986. I actually like this cover, but I like the other one more. But I do think this one's a bit more vibrant. Oops. Tape. And the print date is from February 18th, 1987. 
Next, you've got um, Babes in Toyland from 1986. Later copy, like I said, 1986. Uh, uh, September 6th, 1985. Then, you've got LT Robin Crusoe USN. A Disney film I've never seen. One that isn't actually on Disney Plus, interestingly enough. Uh, but I will be checking this film out. I've been wanting to. Just never got around to it. June 5th, 1985. I don't know if it has the Walt Disney and You promo at the end. Would probably be a good idea to check. But there's that. Then I've got one that I purchased off of eBay. And I thought I purchased three. So I don't know where the other one went. Huh. Anyways, uh, yeah, I got this one, The Last Flight of Noah's Ark, 1986, or not 1986, uh, way earlier, no print date, um, got a cutoff label, but I did check the tape and it is fine. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the other one I got off eBay. I'll take a look when I'm done showing these. Next, one of our dinosaurs is missing. Got this at a Goodwill in Santa Rosa. One that doesn't normally carry tapes, but I did ask, do you have any in the back? And they brought this one out. Alright. No print date. Got the blue lines on the label. Pretty cool. Next, you've got Napoleon and Samantha. A Disney film I've never seen. Picked it up from the St. Vincent de Paul in, um, what is it called? Not, where is it? Florence, Oregon. I'm sorry. My brain blanked for a second. Print date from January 23rd, 1987. Once again, I want to watch this film, and I just never have. Then, Toby Tyler from 1986. Uh, print date from August 4th of 1986, in fact. And you can tell this one's printed way later, because the print date is in ink. And then you've got Old Yeller, 1986 VHS. No print date. And finally, for the White Clam Shell releases, you've got Mary Poppins. with no print date. And that is not it. That is all the white clamshells, but I've also got the other Neon Mickey releases. Though, I do want to show you what I've got here, so let me just put these in the stack. And there you go. That is literally every single white clamshell release that I have in my collection. I've got a lot. And I'm very happy with that. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones I got. I got Island at the Top of the World and Search of Castaways and The Last Flight of Noah's Ark all on eBay. All right. Now, to get on to the non-white clamshell releases, but I need to clean this up first. All right. On to the next segment of this collection. Going to continue on by showing you now the just generic Neon Mickey releases. Uh, like cartoon classics, some Christmas specials, that kind of thing. So we're going to start with Disney's Music Library by showing you the 3D TV volumes I have, beginning with Pop and Rock, the 1984 VHS. Now, I actually have a copy of this one up on my eBay store. If you would like to purchase it, I will put a link down below. And I've had this tape, this copy, for a long time. I got this one at the Chico Arc store in, well, Chico, my bad. Uh, no print date. Let me get the camera quality fixed. There we go. All right. Tape with a print date of September 21st, 1984. You can see it right there. Got the wrapped and ready to give promotion uh, little pamphlet in there because this came out around that time. 
Next, I've got Disney's Rock Rhythm and Blues, another uh, DTV volume that I picked up at a Goodwill in Oregon. I don't remember which town exactly, but I got it a long time ago, back in, I think, 20... I think it was 21 or 22. Uh, print date from October 14th, 1984. And I haven't watched these all the way through yet, but I do plan to at some point. And finally, next, I've got Golden Oldies. And this is another one I picked up at a Goodwill. I got it at the exact same Goodwill on the exact same day. And you got the pamphlet, right? Yeah, you got it in there. Tape with a print date of September 30th, 1986. So this is a reprint, but if you play it, it's got the original opening. And uh, interesting fact, this was the only time these tapes were released on home video in 1984. Apart from reprints and repressings, there's no other cover or label different version. They all open and close the same, and they all look the same. And I can't get the pamphlet to stay in there, but whatever. I got it now. Alright, next, I've got the Cartoon Classics volumes. Now, Cartoon Classics will have its own collection, but I did want to show the Black Clamshell Gold Editions and the other one that I have in Neon Mickey. Next, or, uh, sorry, first, you've got Cartoon Classics Limited Gold Edition Volume 1 titles, starting with Donald. Nineteen eighty-four VHS. And there is no print date on this one. And I got these tapes from a variety of places. Some I just picked up at whatever place I could find them. Some I got at Captain Video. I think one or two of these I got at Half Price Books. I kind of got these all over the place. So next is Daisy, Cartoon Classics Volume. Uh, print date is from, I think, June 23rd of 83. Actually, I can't read the full print date, but I think it's sometime in 1983. So there you have that one. Next, you got the limited gold edition of Disney's Best, Fabulous 50s. All these are in pretty nice condition. None of them are snapped off. All of them play well. Uh, I can't read the print date on that one either. But I'm pretty sure these were all printed around 83 to 84. Um, alright, what's the next one? Uh, Silly Symphonies. In general, just Silly Symphonies. Uh, Case had an uh, opening issue right there. Uh, print date is unreadable. Next, you've got, are these the uh, Volume 2 ones? Yeah. Alright, so all these next ones, these next four, are from the second set that they did of this series. So, uh, these were released around 1985 to 1986, I think. Maybe some in 1984. I've only got four of them, beginning with Donald B. Picture, or Donald's B. Pictures. Very nice condition copy. Maxell tape with a print date of June 10th, 1985. And then, next, I got Disney's Cartoon Classics, Volume 2, whatever you want to call it, The World According to Goofy, another 1985 one. Uh, print date is all scribbled out, but you got the label. Next, you've got... From Pluto with Love. And I just realized I should have maybe been reading the cartoons that these have. And eh, whatever. It's fine. If you really want to know, I'll make a pinned comment, I guess. Uh, print date, May 9th, 1985. 
And then you have an officer and a duck. And this is the last one I have. Well, for the gold editions, print date from May 16th of 1985. And some of these, in fact, all of these I haven't watched yet. All right, so let me put these back up. And then next, you've got Disney's Cartoon Classics, Silly Symphonies, Fence Full Fables. This is a really bad condition copy that I bought at Captain Video, which I now boycott that store. Um, but it was before I knew some things. I'll just say that. I was innocent, but I would never go there now. Anyways, print date on this one is from December 8th of 1986. Uh, blue lines, color, and black and white, 47 minutes, not rated. Got all the stuff on there. Like I said, this one is in very bad condition, but I purely own it because, well, I don't have a better copy of it. But if I do, oh yeah, this one's not going on eBay or anything. I dump it in the trash, or maybe I put it on eBay, but make people very aware that it's in terrible shape. All right, next, Mickey's Christmas Carol. Got this one right here from the, uh, not St. Vincent, the Opportunity House in Vacaville. Yes, I got this one last year. And I really like the color on the label, the dark blue. And the print date is from October 14th, 1984. And no, I've not watched Mickey's Christmas Carol in a while. Uh, I will be watching that this Christmas, I hope. I hope to get into a lot more movies soon and shows. Uh, next, Five Mile Creek. This one is Volume 5. And it's the only one I have in one of these big cases. Red and white, or uh, red and orange uh, labeling. June 15th, 1986. And next, The Wonderful World of Disney. Adventures, or an adventure in color, including Donald in Math Magic Land, plus The Illusion of Life. Also... Interestingly enough, this has a behind-the-scenes for the Black Cauldron at the end of the tape. And, yeah, if you read the print date, it is from February 13th of 1986. The tape is damaged in the middle. It still works. It's just got some lines on it. Uh, but that is something that I've had to deal with. I think I did watch this tape all the way through once. Um, next, I've got my only Paddington Bear tape, but this is Paddington Bear Volume 4, and there are quite a few of these from 1980, uh, from the 1980s, rather. I think there's, like, a blue one and a light sky blue one, and I think a green one. I don't remember all the volumes. I just know they exist. Uh, I can't read the print date. But there you have it. Next, I've got Disney's True Life Adventures, The Vanishing Prairie, which I believe this is one I have in a slipcover as well. Yes, I do have this one. But I also have the 1986 release. Uh, printed is covered up. And I got this one at a hospice that used to be at my hotel that closed down. And I'm pretty sure the hospice closed down, actually. Alright, next. The Walt Disney Comedy and Magic Review. Review? I don't know why they spelled it that way, but... This is like a promotional tape for Walt Disney's cartoons and everything. I've never actually watched the whole thing. I want to do that sometime this week. Maybe I'll put this on tonight. Uh, April 28th, 1985. There's a cool one to have. Next, I've got two copies of a Disney Christmas gift right here. One of these is the earlier pressing, one of these is the later pressing. I'll show you the earlier one first. I think I got this one at the Goodwill in my town. And you got the tape with a print date 
of September 22nd, 1984. And then you've got the other copy, which has removable artwork and a print date of January... Or uh, September 3rd, 1986. It might be September 2nd, actually. Uh, but this tape will be having its birthday in the next month or so. And yeah, you can see the label differences. And then you got uh, Walt Disney Christmas. Bought this one at the Salvation Army in my town. Oh. Uh, lid's got an issue, I guess. I, I did not know the lid could do that. Um, I'll have to buy a new copy. I mean, it's not a big deal, but... It does mean you can flap it open. I wonder if I could figure out why it's doing that. Anyways. Uh, where's the print date? There is none. Uh, and I bought this one at the Salvation Army in the last year. Next... You've got Jiminy Cricket's Christmas, 1986 release. Um, August 11th, 1986. And you can see someone's info right here. Don't worry about that. And then... Uh, I think that's it, though I do have one more tape that would fall into this category. Let me grab it. I actually don't keep it with these, but I guess you could say it falls into them. Here it is. All right. Three, two, one, the Disney Epcot Center. This, I guess, could fall into the Neon Mickey titles. Uh, this print doesn't. This is a reprint from around 1989. 1988. Uh, no print date. Yeah, I don't really keep this one over here with the other Neon Mickeys and stuff. I keep that over with the Disney Park section. And yes, I do have a Disney Park section for my collection. That's how many I have of Disney Parks and whatever. Alright, now on to the Sorcerer Mickey titles. Beginning with Pete's Dragon, which I have five different copies. And they all open the exact same, but they're all different in terms of their label. So, I guess I can just show you the front. I'm going to do this a weird way. I'm just going to show you the front of all of them. And then you already saw the spine. And then the back is what you would expect. This is not the best way to do it, but I guess, I guess it works. Yeah, there's all five of them, all the backs. Got them all from different thrift stores, and I promise I will never do that again. That was a terrible way of showing these. Let me pull out the tapes. All right, there's one, two, three. Uh, this other copy should... Where'd the other one go? I guess, I guess this works. So one, two... Three, four, five. And yes, I do have to read the print dates on all these, but maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just show you all the tapes. Yeah, here you go. This is all five of my Pete's Dragons. You can see all the label differences, vertical, horizontal, ink label, different ink label with Sorcerer Mickey, different ink label without Sorcerer Mickey, Actually, do these use a different font? I'm trying to see here. No, I think they use the exact same. Anyways, yeah. I'm not going to read the print dates on all of these. Because, I mean, they're all basically the same, like in 1991 to 1994. But if you actually play them, they're all the same tape. So let me just put those back. Um, and like I said, I bought these from a bunch of different thrift stores. One was a Goodwill in Willits. One was some other place in Willits. I think one might have been like a Salvation Army. And I got these all, like, apart from each other. I didn't buy them all in the same month or anything. Alright, I can 
put these all back. And that is a lot of versions of Pete's Dragon. Next, I've got bed knobs and broomsticks, my two different copies. One with the sticker label. Uh, print date from June 19th, 1991. So this is a reprint. And then the one from 1994. With a print date of March 27th, 1994. Next, Mary Poppins. Like I've said before, a great Disney film. Got all three of these with their spines and their backs. This one's printed on... June 26, 1991. This one's printed on uh, November 24th, 1992. And then finally, this one is printed on June or August 5th, 1993 and August 26th, 1993. And yeah, like I said, I own a lot of these. All right. Then, The 30 Caballeros, a Disney film I've never seen. I uh, got a print date of sometime on the 2nd in 1991. I think that says September. And then this one says April 12th. And then, finally, So Dear to My Heart. Two copies. Uh, I can't read that date. What is it? July 8th, 1993, in very faint ink. And then July, or, uh, July 25th, 1993. And that is it for all the Neon Mickey tapes and Sorcerer Mickey tapes that I'm going to show to you in this collection. So... I hope you all enjoyed, because that was a long video to make, so I hope you guys got some enjoyment out of it. Uh, please subscribe and check back, as soon I will be redoing the Black Diamond Classics. And I've got a couple of new additions, so I'd check it out. Peace.